everyone. My name is Jade Ledock. I am the graduate assistant for the La Casita Resource Center. We would like to thank the students, faculty, staff, family, friends for joining us today. We are so very proud of all of you and your accomplishments, and we wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Welcome. My name is Ali Malibari, and I'm the GA for the International Student Resource Center. For so many years, I've been so lucky to present this event when, and seeing all these beautiful faces coming and celebrating with all of us. This year, we're still lucky by having this technology that brings us together to celebrate the graduate student for 2020. And I know for sure that all of these students are going to have an amazing future. I'm honored today to present to you the Executive Director of the Multicultural Office for Services and Programs, Dr. Ilonda Irvin, for her opening speech. Good morning. My name is Dr. Ilonda Irvin. I serve as the Executive Director for the Office of Multicultural Services and Programs. On behalf of our graduate students, Dr. Ali Malabari and Jade Ladok, and our program coordinator, Martha Reed, we welcome you to our Spring 2020 Hispanic International Global Graduation. We want to congratulate you in advance. Please stay for the program and I wish, I really hope you enjoy. Every year, we used to tell the people about the history of the Global Hispanic Graduation Ceremony. This year, we will have Ms. Martha Reed to present the purpose of this beautiful event. And she is the program coordinator for the MSP. On behalf of the Division of Student Affairs and the Office of Multicultural Services and Programs, I welcome you to the fourth annual Hispanic graduation ceremony. We're very honored to have you attend today's ceremony. Global graduation is a ceremony conducted on numerous campuses to honor our Hispanic, Latino, and international students and their journeys. This ceremony is meant to acknowledge their achievements and contributions to the university. The Hispanic Latino Global Graduation Ceremony was created by the Office of Multicultural Services and Programs at Indiana State University. Until 2016, there were no ceremonies to honor our Hispanic, Latino, or international students from all over the globe. Thank you and congratulations. You are awesome. The International and La Casita Student Resource Centers collaborates with student organizations and faculty to increase student success in their academic pursuit. To bring remarks, we have with us Teresa Ortega from the Hispanic Organization for Leadership and Advocacy. Hi, this is Teresa Ortega, and I want to send you greetings. I bring you greetings today from Ola the Hispanic Organization for Leadership and Advocacy on this momentous occasion of your global graduation. And I know that this year has been unprecedented and I'm sure if you never hear that word again, you'll probably be happy in your life. But 2020 is unusual uh, and I don't want to not speak of the elephant in the room, what's going on with the pandemic. Um, I think it has uh, probably taken away a lot of the celebrations that you would have had normally for your graduation parties, uh, you know, events, pictures, you know, so many things that, that would have happened. But I think it's going to make the class of 2020 stronger. And I think a lot of amazing things will come from you. I think that uh, with everything going on that you will definitely be in a very, very unique category to do some amazing things in the world. And I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what happens with the class of 2020. So again, on this momentous occasion of your global graduation, I wish you congratulations. I can't wait to see what you do in the world and I do want to leave you with a quote from a woman that um, whose name is Nadia Abu Zaid and I thought uh, her quote was very interesting and and said a lot about what I wanted to say to you uh, these comments aren't really very prepared so it's from the heart but her quote is make sure to do something that provides you with motivation to get up in the morning and go to work whether it's passion for a mission excitement about creating or intellectual stimulation 
follow a path where you consistently feel engaged. And that's my message to you. And I hope that whatever you do in the world, you're excited, you're engaged, you're creative. And I know that's going to come from the class of 2020. You have some unique qualities. So, congratulations. Happy global graduation. And I hope that you have a wonderful life. Keep us posted. Congratulations. I have the distinct honor of introducing the keynote speakers, Maria and Al Hussein Chakra. Al Hussein Chakra was born in Morocco, North Africa. He lived in France, then moved to the US. He has been with ISU for over 25 years. He started as an adjunct faculty in the Department of Political Science, teaching undergraduate courses in political science and graduate courses in public administration. In 1995, he moved to the ISU Office of Sponsored Programs and continued to teach public administration courses. After three years working as an information specialist, he was appointed interim director of the ISU Office of Sponsored Programs. After three years as the head of OSP, he was asked by President Lloyd Benjamin to move to the Office of International Programs and Services to help ISU increase the international enrollment and generate funding to support international partnerships. He was appointed as Associate Director for International Development and Academic Linkages. In this new position, he developed partnerships with universities in China, Russia, France, Taiwan, South Korea, and Morocco. Over a period of two years, he helped generate over $1.7 million to support cultural and educational activities. He was able to increase international enrollment from 470 to over 1,200 international students by 2015. In 2008, he was made a knight for the Kingdom of Morocco by the King and also the recipient of the ISU Lloyd W. Benjamin III Medal for International Services. He received awards from the Saudi Arabian Cultural Mission the UAE Embassy, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the Saudi Student Association, the Moroccan Student Organization, the African Student Union, the Hussein II University of Mohammedia, and the Hussein I University of Staff. He served as the chair of the ISU Staff Council from 2018 to 2019 and served as a member for two years. He served on the President Council on Inclusive Excellence, the ISU Disability Service Advisory Board, ISU Discrimination Appeal Committee, and is the advisor for the Saudi Student Association and the Moroccan Student Organization. Maria Jacra was born in the Canary Islands, Spain, and moved to the United States in 1989. She graduated from ISU with a bachelor's degree in French literature and a master's in public administration. She has been working at ISU for 22 years in the field of international education and immigration advising. She has devoted her entire career to help and support international students. Currently, she is an assistant director for the Center for Global Engagement. She is the university's principal designated school official representing ISU with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in matters related to F1 student visa. She also serves as the alternate responsible officer for the J-1 program to support exchange students and visiting scholars. She is a member of OLA, one of ISU's affinity groups. She serves on the Staff Council Employee Relations Committee and served on the President's Diversity Council. She has received several awards such as her Color Shine for her years of service at ISU, an award from the Saudi Student Association. She represented ISU at the Education USA Southern Hemisphere annual conference in Lima, Peru, and during a visit to the Fulbright Commission officer in Ecuador. She is also a member of Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society and Phi Sigma Iota National Foreign Language Honor Society. Dear international and Hispanic students, Maria and I are here today to congratulate you on your high achievements and your success. You have worked so hard to get to this point and we are so proud to see that your hard work has paid off. We are also proud that the Center for Global Engagement and the Multicultural Services and Programs have played a small role in your journey to success. 
Today, we're celebrating your success in these challenging times. Even if we have to hold the celebration virtually and we're not physically with you, but be assured that each one of you has a place in our hearts and we want to share this celebration with you. We want you to know that this pandemic will not prevent us from recognizing one of the greatest achievements in your life, your graduation and completing your degree at Indiana State University. As you close this chapter of your life and you are starting a new chapter, we wish you all the best of luck and success. We are sure that your experience and educational training at Indiana State University has prepared you to face the challenges that you may encounter in this new chapter of your life. Please use your friendship that you have developed at Indiana State University. Use your network and relation that you have developed to navigate through any challenges that you may encounter or face in your chapter, in your new, new chapter of life. Please remember that we are here for you. We know that these are challenging times and you will need your friends, your instructors who were instrumental in your success, but also remember that the staff of CGE and MSP are here to support you as you start your, um, this wonderful chapter in your life. Congratulations on your success. Good luck and best wishes for your future. Please be well and stay safe. And remember that we are always here for you. Thank you from both of us. And hope that you have a very wonderful celebration today. Thank you. Today, we are lucky to have our Interim Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Andy Morgan, who is going to give you his beautiful speech. Greetings, graduates. My name is Dr. Andy Morgan, and I serve as the Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. Congratulations on your graduation. I know that is disappointing that we're not able to spend this time together to celebrate the Hispanic and global graduation, but it is still a celebratory time as you achieve a significant milestone. We watched you work very hard over the course of your years at Indiana State, in the classroom, in your student organizations, and that hard work has paid off. Very soon, you officially be an Indiana State University alumnus. This is very exciting. This accomplishment is much deserved. I hope you're able to celebrate in some ways with your loved ones and with your faculty and staff on campus, even if that does take virtually. Please know that you'll always be a sycamore and you are always welcome to our campus because this is your campus. Keep in touch with us to let us know what you're up to. We hope to continue to celebrate your accomplishments and look forward to having you connect with our current students. Keep striving to achieve your goals. This is degree is started your future, and I believe in each and every one of you. You will make your mark and impact on our global society. As an alumnus, you are stronger, and because you are an ISU alumnus, we are all stronger. Congratulations, Sycamores. Congratulations, and please take care. Also, I'm honored to present you our Interim Dean for Student Affairs, Amanda Hobson. Hey, Sycamores, AJ Hobson, Interim Dean of Students. One of my favorite writers, Neil Gaiman, once said to a graduating class, now go and make interesting mistakes. Make amazing mistakes. Make glorious and fantastic mistakes. Break rules. Leave the world more interesting for your being here. I concur. Leave the world and make those mistakes. Learn from them. Create change in the ways that each of you individually and uniquely can. Embrace yourself and your life with passion. Seek out the things that feed your soul and spark your imagination. Remember to always push yourself to learn. I can say with a great deal of certainty that you're already making the world a more interesting place. You've made Indiana State University a better and more vibrant place in your time here. You leave a legacy, which may have been made through mistakes and trials by fire, just as through your triumphs and joys. You've left a mark. We are forever changed because you have been here. Congratulations, Sycamore Class of 2020.
Each year, we ask for graduating students to submit a short essay regarding their journey here at ISU. This year, our student speaker is Sandy Monhe. Sandy Monhe is receiving a bachelor's degree in applied medicine and rehabilitation therapy and a minor in massage therapy. She's a first-generation college student and first-generation immigrant from El Salvador. She is one of the six noble founders of Gamma Phi Omega International Sorority. She is a member of the Hispanic Latina Alliance and the International Student Leadership Council. She is also one of the many adopted children from Mama Martha. Hello, class of 2020. Oh, wait, let me put on some sunglasses because your future is so bright. <laughs> I hope this video finds you doing well and in good health. And I would like to thank the Office of Multicultural Services and Programs for making events like this possible that represent the ISU community as a whole and for giving us the opportunity to have our graduation. <laughs> thank you. I know that we've all been looking forward to graduation and it's been the one thing that's been motivating us to continue and to push through. Um, I know that we weren't expecting it to happen this fast or to happen this way, but congratulations, you made it this far. I know that the future is kind of scary and some of us are not ready, but you got this, you are prepared, you are sick and more strong, and you are ready for the next step. Um, I would like to thank my family, so I would like to thank God um, for all the sacrifice that they have made, for investing in my future, and for always being there with me. I love them a lot and I appreciate them. I would like to thank my friends and my line sisters for always being there for me. Thank you for helping me find myself and for helping me become a better friend and a better leader. I would like to thank the faculty and staff like Martha Reed, Teresa Ortega, Dr. Irvin, Dr. Morgan, the Office of Fraternal Life, Corey Smith. Thank you for helping us bring Gamma Phi Omega and for helping me find my home away from home, whether it be through student organizations or through the friends here on campus. Thank you for each and every one of you for making my ISU experience memorable. Thank you. Um, I hope to see you guys very soon and I hope that no matter where the future takes you, you remember your your family, your ISU family. Take care and best of blessings. Goodbye. Alia Malabari is receiving a doctoral degree in instructional design and media technology. She earned her bachelor's degree at El Mal Cura University in English and a minor in education. She later moved to the U.S. and attended Eastern Washington University, where she received her master's degree and certificate in leadership and teaching technology. She has been nominated as an everyday leader. At ISU, she has been an advocate for social change. She was the only female president of a Saudi student association in the U.S., among the top 20 of 300 organizations. It is important to note that ISU has among the highest number and percentage of Saudi students in the country on a single campus. She is a public speaker and has presented at various events at ISU. She currently worked as a graduate assistant for International Student Resource Center at the Multicultural Services and Programs Office. Her story provides a window into the Arab, Muslim, and international experience and counsel to faculty, staff, and students on how to support their success. There was a girl, she was around 10 or 9, and the doctor told her that she needed to wear glasses. She cried a lot because she was one of the few kids who wear glasses at that time, and she thought that would be a big struggle for her. And her dad told her, don't cry, only doctors wear glasses. That young girl, she became this Dr. Malibari in front of you. I lost my both parents. I lost my dad 20 years ago. I lost my mom almost four years ago. Both of them were raising me to be a very good woman who could do a lot. They raised me to love anything about knowledge and education. I'm here to fulfill their dreams. I know they are in heaven knowing about all these news. So that's why I'm dedicating everything, my education, my work, my repetition to both of them. I used to say that 
each one of us when we graduate, especially international students, when we graduate from the United States, we are going back with a certificate. That is a guarantee thing. But we need to go back with other things. For me, I'm going back with beautiful hearts and souls supported me here during my journey. I spent 10 years in the United States, actually more. Um, I spent the beginning of the journey in Washington State where I did my master in Eastern Washington University and I have a beautiful family there. And then I came to ISU. ISU was a very big change for me. It was a new place even new and different from Eastern Washington University, but I have met a lot. Um, I went through so many things, struggles, personal, in, in my education, in my life, almost in all different aspects, especially when I lost my mom. I found so many amazing people who are supporting me, who were there for me, even without knowing them. People who told me, okay, I will be your advisor, although they didn't know me. And people who told me, okay, you have a beautiful smile. We have a job for you here. Even before reading my resume, these people are blessing. These people are my guardian angels who came to help me. All of them from different colors, different nationalities, different religions, and yet they became my family. So I'm not going back to my country with my certificate only. I'm going back with their hearts, prayers, and support forever and ever. That is my advice for you as a new student or if you are graduating and going back, don't take your certificate and go. Keep these connections you made here in the United States with all these international people. So now I have a house in every country because of all the international students and people I met here. Uh, there are so many people. I would like to tell their names forever and ever, but in this video, you will see all their faces. Each one of them have a very big impact on me. My advisor, of course, she was amazing, Dr. Susan Powers. My two guardian angels, Dr. Ilanda Irving and Mama Martha Reed. And of course, I cannot forget Dr. Chakra and Maria Chakra, who always was there for, to support me. The Division of Student Affairs, thank you for including me. Thank you for be believing in me as not only a student, but as a worker, as an employee in this university. You give me a lot. I cannot say a word to describe my proud of my country, uh, of our briefest king, King Abdullah. Um, may his soul rest in peace. He was the one who believed in me first and gave me my scholarship. And now King Salman and the Crown Prince who supported me a lot. Uh, one of the big things I want to tell everyone, don't believe what you hear about other places or other country. If you hear anyone saying that Saudi Arabia is a country where women have no rights, don't believe them. Tell them, we know Dr. Alia Malibari. Dr. Alia Muhammad Malibari, she's from Saudi Arabia, and she's not a weak woman, and her country is the place who first believe in her and send her to the United States and give her this power to be this woman. If you believe that, I'm a good example of a good female leader. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk with all of you. Thank you very much for all the support. May God bless each one of you. Now, the moment that we all have been waiting for, recognizing and congratulating our students on their success. At this time, I would like to introduce the Spring 2020 Global and Hispanic Graduates. Students graduating with a doctorate degree in education, Alia Malabari, Instructional Design and Media Technology, Saudi Arabia. Students graduating with a Master's of Art and Business Administration, Rodrigo Cruz, Music, Brazil. Luis Rayfield, Business Administration, France. Students graduating with a Bachelor's of Science, Bianca Contreras, Criminology and Criminal Justice, Guatemala. 
Jennifer Saavedra Rios, Criminology and Criminal Justice, Mexico. Yadira Diaz Romero, Psychology, Mexico. Edgardo Soto Ramirez, Athletic Training, Puerto Rico. Angelica Martinez, Nursing, Mexico. Derek Griffin, Criminology and Criminal Justice, United States. Alexandra Toombs, Athletic Training, Canada. Nadie Torres Garduza, Health Sciences, Mexico. Damar Mentado, Nursing, Mexico. Sandy Monje, Athletic Training, El Salvador. Para Alberon, Criminology and Criminal Justice, Mexico. Sufi Bent, Psychology, Panama. Jeline Hebel, Social Work, Mexico. Congratulations, Spring of 2020 graduates. Hi, this is Ilanda again. Thank you for joining us for our Spring 2020 Hispanic International Global Graduation Ceremony. We hope that you enjoyed the speakers. We thank you so much for everything that you have done during your tenure here at iState. We wish you luck and great fortune. But remember, we are always here. Sycamore Pride. Bye.